Hey everyone, and thanks so much for tuning in. So since I had a really successful how to be stylish every day video, I wanted to kind of bounce back on that and feed off of that video to give you more information of how I get dressed every day, how I go shopping, how I build my wardrobe. So this video is all about how to build a classic wardrobe, one that could last you a really long time and one that won't frustrate you but actually help you get dressed every single day. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But before that, please don't forget before you leave, if you're not already please subscribe to my channel hit that red subscribe button down below because if you like this video you'll definitely get more of these types of videos if you subscribe you'll get notified when I put them out and if you like them give me a thumbs up share it with your family and friends and stay tuned my first piece of advice when building a classic wardrobe, especially for the new people that are watching, some of the people that have been subscribed and that have been watching my videos probably have heard me say this a million times, but stay away from pattern. Now I'm not saying eliminate pattern altogether because you do need some pattern and some pattern is just too gorgeous to resist, but for the most part, if you are going to have a lot of pattern in your wardrobe, I guarantee you that you're probably going to get sick of it and end up not wearing it. At least that's what I've found over the years. This is what allows me to wear my things over and over again over the years What I found when it comes to pattern is that when it comes to something really inexpensive It tends to get super played out and then you start seeing it everywhere And then I feel like that ends up allowing you to be more and more sick of the item I'm not saying spend a lot of money on pattern But just be careful when choosing pattern and this is exactly why you can't have too many of it Because if you end up just buying a whole patterned closet you might get really sick of it. All right, so tip number two is do your research and try to figure out what it is you wanna look like. Pinterest is a really great place to try to find inspirational pictures, make a mood board of what you wanna look like for right now and in the long run. And then from there, you can study the pictures, you can see what they have that you already have, what they have that you don't have, and maybe that could be put on your list of things to buy. You could also Google specific looks or use Polyvore, which will actually filter out what you're looking for. Polyvore is great because you can just Google something that you're looking for and it'll give you all different variations of the item from different sites with different price points. Also, use Instagram. Follow your favorite bloggers. Again, study what they're wearing, study what they look like. Look at each item that they're wearing. Maybe try to figure out, does this person exude a specific style or a specific trend and if that's something that matches your taste that you want to achieve as well study what they're wearing all the time maybe they use the same pair of shorts all the time that goes with a lot of stuff and maybe you need that pair of shorts or maybe they're using a specific jacket all the time that they love or maybe they just like jackets in general and maybe that's what you love about them so if that's your thing go out and buy some more jackets because it's probably what you'll end up loving that'll end up being your accessory to good dressing okay so once you figure out what you need and you're ready to go buy before you buy make sure that you're looking at each piece and trying to figure out how it looks are you in love with it is it so beautiful you can't resist and probably one of my biggest things especially if you are a budget shopper make sure you ask yourself if it looks expensive now I'll give you an example I bought this trench coat from H&M now H&M is known globally for being an affordable retail store and when I saw this I studied it and I asked myself so what are they trying to achieve with making this piece does it look like what it's supposed to look like and does it feel like what it's supposed to feel like like mind you I bought this online but I also studied and read what the material was made of I wanted something slouchy and easy something I can travel with something that I can just throw on and I feel like this did the job it's slouchy the material is nice it looked really nice on the picture the way that they styled it on the model looked really nice and then I also feel like when I put it on it does look expensive it doesn't look like a piece that you would find at H&M. All right, next tip is finding good retailers. Finding retailers that'll match your aesthetic, your budget, and will do good for you in the long run. Now for someone around my age, I'm around my 30s, Zara is probably the number one suggestion I would give you if you're looking for a good retailer that has good quality for the price and something that's on trend but still appropriate for all ages. Try to stay away from really, really inexpensive places like Zeful and Shein. There's something about websites that just pull pictures from different parts of the internet and then put it as if that's what they're selling. I don't trust those sites. I have never I have never bought anything from those sites and I never will. Um, another retailer that I've kind of like strayed away from is Forever 21. Now if you're testing trends 
Forever 21 is a good place to not spend too much on a new trend that you might be unsure about but that you want to try. Those pieces are not meant to last you a lifetime. Even though you spend a little more at Zara, some of my Zara pieces have still stuck with me for years and I just think the quality is a lot better than what you're getting from those other inexpensive retail sites. I know that sometimes I shop at places like Boohoo but for me the reason why I shop at those UK retailers is because they're from the UK. They're not as easily accessible getting them in the United States so I'm not gonna see a lot of people with the same pieces as I will have and so that's another reason why I get it from there and I feel like Boohoo surprises me all the time but again with Boohoo I always study the picture and I ask myself all those questions like does it look expensive does it look like something someone will notice does it look different and does it achieve everything that I need and do I love it all right, so the last and probably most useful advice I could give you is to build on your basics. Now, when I talk about basics, I am talking about the things that you wear every day from denim to outerwear to layering pieces. Now, what I found is that if you cover all your bases with basics, you can dress up so much easier. For example, if you cover all your bases when it comes to bottoms, like the skinny jean and the ankle length jean and your shorts and your skirts, you probably can just get up in the morning, throw on a top and think about what you need for the bottom. And if you have that bottom, there you go. You won't have to waste time thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have that, now what do I do? Now when it comes to basic tops, I tend to stray away from cotton pieces just because they don't look that great and they don't last that long. Now different places that you can get really good camis at are Zara, Aritzia, and Cami NYC if you're looking to splurge. The ones at Aritzia are really, really good because you can find different variations with different colors. You're gonna have to spend a little bit more, maybe around $50, but they are so worth it, especially if you take care of them the right way. For example, with all my really good basics, I always dry clean them. If you don't wanna spend the money on dry cleaning, you can always hand wash them by soaking them in like a bowl with some detergent for a couple minutes and then laying them flat to dry. The great thing about having basic pieces when it comes to bottoms and tops is that if you're so lazy and you don't even want to think about what to wear you can just throw on one of your nice camis and a pair of your nice skinny jeans and you are good to go and then you just look so good and you don't even have to stress about it so these are two of my favorite camis that I have ever owned they are both from Zara they're both the exact same tank I love this one and I probably use this one way more than I've used the black one because number one this is not a stark white color so it's it's gonna go under a lot of neutral colors and a lot of dark colors because a lot of neutral colors don't really look well with white. This is more of an off-white color, so if you find a good cami that looks something like this, I guarantee you, you're gonna get so much wear out of it. So covering your bases with shoes is also a really important necessity because you're gonna have different occasions where you're gonna need a lower heel or a higher heel. So for example, I have my block heels from Steve Madden that I use when I'm going out shopping or walking around. And then I have my high heel for fancier occasions that always look cute with different things. And then of course you have your outerwear pieces. I think a great leather jacket is a necessity for all year round, as well as having a blazer and some longer and shorter jackets that you love. These last few pointers I hope help you guys to get a really good insight on how you can make dressing up a lot easier. If you cover all your bases from top to bottom, you can definitely wake up in the morning and if you don't want to think about what to wear, at least you have good pieces that you can just throw on and then you're good to go. So I hope you guys found this video useful and if you found value out of this video, please share it with your family, share it with your friends, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you can get more of these videos and you'll get notified every time I put it out. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you next time.